Hi Sagittarius, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new. So we're going to go ahead and do your February 2022 reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and we're going to take a look at what is coming in for you in February. You know, what, um, how are you going to be feeling in February? Blessings, challenges, and where you should be focusing your energy. So please just take what resonates with you. Please just take what fits with you. It's not going to be for everybody, of course. And let's go ahead and get into it here. So spirit, guides, angels, what messages please do we have for the highest and greatest good for this spread for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of February 2022? So there is going to be an extended version to this reading. You can check out the link down below. It'll take you over to Vimeo and we'll get some more details on what's coming in for you this month. Uh, we'll get an answer to a yes or no question, some additional insight from spirit and um, <clears throat> things of that nature. So let's go into your reading here. So Sagittarius spirit, please. What do we have for this spread for February? 2022 for whoever is tuning in and needs to hear these messages. All right, let's see. What we have here. So, bottom of the deck, we have the magician coming out. The overall theme of the month for you is the judgment in reverse. I kept seeing that one. The energy that you will be feeling. So, your overall energy this month, we have the naked heart, which is just an extra card in this deck after the world. The blessings coming in for you, we have the emperor. The potential challenges crossing. We have the Seven of Swords reversed. Um, your external environment. This could be family, work, love, career. We have the Eight of Wands reversed. And where should you be focusing your energy? We have the Page of Swords. So let's get a few additional Oracle cards to go along with this spread here. So what else, Spirit for Sagittarius, please? In February. What is the energy for you? What's coming in for you in February to go along with this spread to clarify spirit? Or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, whoever's tuning in here. What's coming in for you in the month of February? We have the Wizard of Awareness. So we have the Wizard of Awareness and we do have this Magician here. So I'm definitely getting a lot of manifestation energy for you here. We have Home and then let me grab this card that just flew across the room here. Okay, we have Movement. This is the one that just flew here. Uh, we have Movement and then I'm just gonna grab a few additional cards and then we'll look into the reading here. So anything else, Spirit? For Sagittarius, please, Sun, Moon, Rising in February to go along with this spread. What's going on for you in February? What's coming in for you? Sagittarius here. Okay. So let's see here. The first thing, again, we have the Magician here at the bottom of the deck for you. We do have movement as well. So I feel like with this Magician, Page of Swords, a lot of intellectual energy I'm getting. Uh, the Page of Swords, the Emperor here, the uh, Magician. I feel like there's a very empowering energy coming in for you. Some of you are going to um, really be very aware of your surroundings, what you're creating here. I do feel like some of you have to come to a resolution here, though, with this judgment reversed and the seven of swords in reverse. 
And there is something with this naked heart card too. You know, there's kind of a feeling here of bearing it all. So some of you may be coming to some conclusions here. Because um, for me, the judgment card can be final decisions. You know, these butterflies showing in that deck too, in this card. Um, awakenings coming to resolution. In many ways, it is about vulnerability and kind of this naked heart energy too. So I feel like some of you could have a decision here, again, that you need to make or something that has been ruminating, something that has been replaying here for you um, may need to come into some form of like awareness here is kind of what I'm getting. Um, you do have the emperor coming up as a blessing for you. So this may be that there's, I want to clarify that as we go along here to confirm what that is, but it could be that some of you have a uh, position of authority coming into your life in which you're going to be the emperor of your world because there is something with this wizard of awareness that looks like an emperor here you know with this very similar looking kind of man here so it could be that some of you are attracting somebody to you a lover to you i'm picking up for some of you but for others of you it is about you creating uh like you're you're stabilizing your home you're kind of getting your life together here this could be you entering into territory that's going to feel very structured and home-like for you whatever that means it feels like there's something opening here there's this door opening for you um you may have to head down the road less traveled here even if you feel misunderstood or afraid there's something in your uniqueness that is a hidden gift stay true to you and don't be afraid to lose others in the process so this may require you for some of you sagittarius in february to go down a different route to make some form of decision that's going to be maybe against the grain with this movement car this ostrich here um and this is the one that just flipped out so i feel like there's a lot of movement in this card um, because we have this eight of wands reverse for your external environment, which is interesting because it's contradicting the movement card. So some of you may feel like you haven't been moving forward with something or you want to start moving. I don't know. There's just a lot of awareness here. Let's see. Tell me about this judgment reversed. Yeah, and we have this card here to clean your space mentally physically and inside your place of dwelling this is a great time for a deep clean and hitting the reset button organizing and tidying up will create more clarity growth and well-being and that can be the magician here the number one with the emperor too the emperor is very structured very organized so some of you i feel this is a time for you to take charge take control spirit does want you to stay centered and stay grounded with what you you know with, with your creations here um let's see tell me why the theme spirit for sagittarius is the judgment in reverse the overall theme of the month for you in february sagittarius the judgment card in reverse overall theme of the month for you Sagittarius I don't know why Canada just popped in my head I don't know if some of you there's something involving a choice uh, I don't know something about Canada here I'm sure some of you are from Canada but there's something specific about this let's see what is the judgment in reverse for Sagittarius as the overall theme for you we have the chariot and the nine of wands so yeah chariot here this could be movement or it is movement with the movement here the chariot uh, could be travel we have the nine of wands and we have the moon in reverse so i definitely feel like you are going to again there's a decision here that has to be made upon movement with the chariot um, and this is coming through as a theme for you because I feel like it hasn't been done yet with the moon here, the nine of wands. There's some form of hesitation. There's some form of fear around this change, around this move, around this direction here. Um, something here has to come through in order for this decision to be made. But 
but there's definitely a lot of movement here. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about this judgment reversed for Sagittarius, because the moon in reverse here. Let's see. What is the theme for Sagittarius here in February? We have, yeah, so look deeper. Things are not always as they appear. Take a deeper look. And we have what was hidden from you will soon be revealed. Be observant. And we have expression here. Don't hold yourself captive in fear. Express yourself. So um, I feel like with this eye here, look at the eye here. And we have the eye here too, the magician. And then we also have the page of swords for where, should, where you should focus on. So there's some form of information here, insight, clarity that you're needing to gather um, about some form of decision or move here. If you haven't made this decision yet, if this is something, whatever it could be, a relationship, um, whatever this is for you, I feel like some of you may need to make sure that you have the facts, that you're being straightforward, that you're looking into a situation before proceeding perhaps, or just, you know, maybe even communication here. But for me, the Page of Swords is more inquisitive, um, gathering this information. So with the Seven of Swords here too, and the Judgment Reverse, I can't put my finger on what it is exactly, but there's something you're trying to dig deep into and unravel, or that's gonna be a part of February for you. What you need to know, what you need to see. Because we do have this concealment here, what was hidden from you will soon be revealed with the moon also in reverse. So I feel like there's going to be an exposure to something. There's going to be a judgment day to something um, in your life here. We'll see if we can figure out what it is exactly. And I feel like this is going to initiate some form of movement for you with the chariot here, the nine of wands. Um, some of you also could have been holding yourself back on moving forward, though. I am getting that here, too, with this Eight of Wands. So something will be revealed for you. Something will come out to the open for you, or you will have um, what you need, I feel, or you're gathering what you need. And for some of you, this is involving you expressing yourself in different ways, venturing into this territory that's very unknown for you, or uh, you're doing something that's against the grain here. There's something here that I feel you are... Uh, exposing with a naked heart let's see here um how are you going to be feeling sagittarius the naked heart within yourself this month what is your overall energy within yourself your energy here sagittarius And the naked heart can be very expressive, obviously, you know, with this here. Um, so it seems like you're going to be in a place where you're ready to express yourself. You're ready to be authentically you um, in many different ways, in many different areas here. We have the two of pentacles and we have the sage, the hierophant. Look at the, another eye here. And we have the emperor. So we have a lot of powerful figures in this reading, the emperor, the hierophant, the magician. So it seems like a, a pretty powerful time for you here. Um, Sagittarius, how are you going to be feeling here within yourself? Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant, the Sage. Wow, now we have the High Priestess coming out too. So the High Priestess, the Hierophant. So these can be counterparts of each other, but there's a lot of spiritual energy here. Um, King of Wands, Five of Wands reversed. So again, with the Five of Wands here, it's like you're, you're kind of needing to pull yourself out of this fire or pull yourself out of some, some conflict or, 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 um, Yeah, whatever this resistance is, it feels like it's Sagittarius. How are you going to be feeling here this month in February? Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So 
Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are building something here. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Hierophant. You could even be entering into some form of commitment or it doesn't have to be just within love. It could just be that you're going to be committed to something you're learning, something you're growing here. Um, but since we have this card about going off in your own direction, it does feel like you are doing something yourself or you are needing to be clear here about the direction that you are taking apart from other people. And that could be the five of wands here, the king of wands, the five of wands, maybe it could be anything, could be a person, could be a circumstance, could be a situation, a job, but it just feels like with this naked heart here, a lot of you are deciding to lay it all out there in some way in your life in order to move. Um, Sagittarius, how are you going to be feeling this month within yourself? What is your overall energy with this naked heart spirit, the Hierophant? Some of you might be in the spotlight, I'm getting. You might be doing something in the spotlight. So Sagittarius, what is your energy this month? Yeah, so there may be a battle between your higher self and your ego in regards to a certain choice or decision you must make. Your higher self will always point you in the direction that is best for you. Take some time to think through a present choice. So that's the judgment here. So yeah, some of you, you definitely have a choice to make here. And it may be that your ego, like we have the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Emperor, these powerful figures here. So you could have a tug between what your ego wants and what your higher self is telling you. Um... The universe always has a way of guiding you and reflecting back what you need to see or hear. Notice the signs, the synchronicities, and the subtle communication that's trying to send you a message. Listen closely. So you seem to be getting a lot of divine insight here about whatever this is for you or whatever this issue is going to be, or information or news, or maybe your own personal growth. Um, you need to tune deeply into your intuitive, into your intuition here. Um, look deeply, the eye, the high priestess, the owl here. So very intuitive energy. And that's what that naked heart is. So it's kind of like you're, you're piercing through some form of either deception or dishonesty or just an avoidance of information, whatever that means. Um, so I actually want to read this wizard of awareness real quick, and then we'll look at this blessing, the emperor. I do want to see what this card says. So Wizard of Awareness, number three. So mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This applies to the environment within you too. If you struggle inside of yourself, stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, uncumbered by opinion or desire. So that's the naked heart, the look deeper, the page of swords. So you have an opportunity here to see something very clearly and distinctly. Um, and again, I'm not sure what exactly that is for you. For some of you, it's just it's a certain situation or it's just your life circumstances, who you are, um, seeing clearly behind the, the veil here, this judgment and this higher self energy. So it's like, you're kind of ripping apart what's been underneath the veil to see, you know, what the, the truth is on the deeper level here. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go, experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change no matter how you want things to stay that's the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. So... Let's see here. Let's look at this emperor. So what is the blessing for Sagittarius in February? What is the blessing for you in February, the emperor?
Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. So another very powerful energy, the Strength card here coming through too. So yeah, this is a very like strong, the Emperor, the Strength card. I feel like this is a blessing for many of you to have structure, to have foundation and to build your life from a very empowered way. Um, so some of you, this is about your work. This is about if you're like an entrepreneur or if you're trying to build something for yourself, it feels like you're accomplishing a lot and you're going to be elevating into a higher status of who you are and what you're doing here. What is the blessing for Sagittarius this month? And I did see that three of pentacles too, 10 of pentacles. Wow. Queen of pentacles. Yeah. Lots of financial abundance for you lots of stability for you. So it's a very, it, this, this whole reading feels like it's really about there's some form of armor here that you're wearing, but in a positive way, not like you're shielding, but you're coming into this very like abundant, strong person. And this is something that I feel you've had to really go through challenges to get there. I feel and this is why with this card, you may have to go into your own direction. Don't be afraid this month to do things that are going to be different or to go off into your own direction. If this requires you to do things outside the norm, that could actually be this two of pentacles and the hierophant because the hierophant can be conventional situations as well. So some of you may need to listen to what you want rather than what other people want for you or what other, whatever it is that's, that's kind of dictating the circumstances, a job situation, a contract, a marriage, a family. Um, and I feel like you are taking the power into your own hands here. And because of this in February, you're going to be manifesting here. Uh, you, you're going to be taking this manifestation energy within yourself here. This is definitely about your home for a lot of you with this home card. But we do have this moon, something will be revealed for you. So it seems like this is coming with truth. It's coming with um, having to tear open. The walls here or tear open a situation. Let's see. The blessing that's coming in for Sagittarius in February. The here the um Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Spirit, Queen of Pentacles, Strength, the blessing that's coming in for you. Okay, we have self-care. Take time to replenish your body and spirit and watch yourself bloom. So the eight of pentacles can be really working on ourselves too. It can be putting a lot of focus on your body, mind, soul, work priorities here and watching yourself bloom. So I feel like many of you are going to be blooming. Um, and I feel like this is the queen of pentacles I'm being drawn to these roses here or flowers. So it's like you're really delicately taking care of yourself. And because of this, it's going to show outwardly for you. Let's look at this page of swords. And let's see here. Where should you focus your energy, Sagittarius? Where should you be focusing your energy this month? Where should you be focusing your energy in February? We have dare to venture outside of your comfort zone. This is a time of expansion, new opportunities, and doing things you've always held back on. There's no more time to waste. Get out there and explore. So it seems to be time for you to really... Um, go after your dreams, go after your manifestations here. And this is going to be a time for you to focus on that. How can you create that for yourself? How can you, um, I feel like there's a lot of mental activity for you too with the page of swords. So thinking in terms of new ideas. So if you're doing something for your work or creative ideas, being very innovative, um, and 
digging deeper into this energy. So what you should focus on essentially is your thoughts, your mind, and what you're creating for your future. And to think big. Where should Sagittarius focus their energy? The King of Cups reverse and the Sun in reverse. So this can be kind of a feeling where we're, I'm either getting that this is a feeling of um, we don't feel emotionally fulfilled with where we're at here. So it's kind of being taken away because with the sun to be in reverse, it's kind of like if you picture the sun is not shining, the sun is dim. There's been an issue here that has to be looked at. Um, and for some of you, it could be your own emotional, like how do you feel emotionally? you know, are you emotionally stable? What do you kind of, I don't know, there's something here with this moon, the king of cups or something very deep here. And then for others of you, it could be that this is about a person here around you that you may need to think about, is this really what you want? So this, you need to look deeper into the issue here. Where should Sagittarius be focusing their energy in February? Tell me, Spirit, about the King of Cups and the Sun. Where should they be focusing their energy? Yeah, it's a rebirth. The death of yesterday is a birth of a new life. Embrace the change. So you definitely have change here. It's a very powerful change with the with, with the magician here and the emperor. So I feel like this is a, a, a very it's like a lot of uh, old emotions or yeah, it's like you're kind of being cleansed here. It's like if you picture I guess like the like the Kundalini rising almost is what I'm getting with this King of Cups and the Sun reverse. Like a lot is being shattered for you. Cleansing of very deep emotions and also being able to go with what your soul really wants is also what I'm getting with this Sun. It's like following the path of your soul. Um, and this could require you again to do things differently or to bear it all here. Um, So I'm going to get one more card here. Where should you focus your energy, Sagittarius, in February? Where should you be focusing your energy? Metamorphosis. Look at that. So I'm going to read this card. So you are in the process of deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices. So that's that's this King of Cups here too in the sun. It's like you're sacrificing something or you're really realizing um, what has been emotionally missing for you or how has your, has your kind of soul been missing here. We have, if you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as snake sheds its dead skin, a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born. You're required to release your old ideas and embrace the necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you've been asked to let go of a low self-worth, a dream that is no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining, or unhealthy habits. So that's all this sun and the king of cups here. So whatever that is personally for you. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformative time for you, transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. So that's, yeah, at the bottom we have stuck in the mud here. So you have been kind of essentially in some ways stuck in the mud. And that's what I'm getting the Seven of Swords in reverses about. Because um, the Seven of Swords can be when we kind of brush things under the rug or we avoid something. If it's not like outright decept deceptive behavior or something that has been avoided, like it's like if 
we, you know, eventually we have to, we eventually we have to always face it. You know, even if we try to hide it, it's going to come back to face us. So if you've been brushing under the rug a certain issue or something that hasn't been making you happy here, like that card said, or your own beliefs, you've been brushing under the rug here. It feels like this is a time now for you to really emerge, to express yourself and to be, because you're, you're the blessing here for you is that you seem to be in a place of being able to take this on, really being able to feel a strong individual here. So I'm going to take this over to the extended and we'll get some more details on what um, exactly is coming in for you. Um, so the link is down below if you're interested. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of the day, evening. Take care. Much love.